In this video, we're going to solve a system of linear equations using the elimination method. And this is for a level three problem within the Delta Math online system. So we're given our two equations. And if we look at the x um, coefficients, we have negative five and three. So this one, I can't simply just change one equation to get opposites unless I'm going to use some type of fraction, which I don't want to do. So I'm going to have to multiply both equations by something. So you got to find what's the common multiple of 3 and 5, right? Well, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 5, 10, 15, right? So if I want to eliminate x first, I can multiply the top equation by 3. That would make that to become negative 15x. And I multiply the bottom, this equation here on the right, I would multiply that one by 5 to get positive 15x. Okay, But I always like to look to see, is there a way I could just do this by only changing one equation versus changing both? And if you look at the coefficient of y, you have negative 2y, and then you have negative 1y. Oh, could I multiply this equation on the right here just by negative 2, right? So if I multiply that equation by negative 2, I get this. I get negative 6x plus 2y equals negative 24. All right? And so now you see my system. I have coefficients of y that are opposite. And again, we use the multiplication property of equality so we didn't change the value of that equation, right? In other words, negative 6x plus 2y equals negative 24 is equivalent to 3x minus y equals 12. All right, so we are in business now. Now we can simply add the two equations together, and we get negative 11x. The y's are eliminated, right? Negative 2y plus 2y is 0y. So then negative 11x equals 13 plus negative 24, well, isn't that negative 11? All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to divide both sides by negative 11, so we get 1x, positive. So we divide both sides by negative 11, and we get x equals 1. x coordinate is 1. So now to find the y coordinate, we can substitute that back into either of the original equations and solve for y. So let's do that. Let's take this x. Let's substitute right into this, this second equation here. All right. So we're going to get 3 times 1 minus y equals 12. Everything else stays the same, right? All I did is I replaced the x with 1. 3 times 1 is 3. So I got 3 minus y equals 12. I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides, minus 3 minus 3. I get negative y equals 9, and then I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1 or multiply both sides by negative 1, and I get y equals negative 9. All right, so when x is 1, y is negative 9. Again, it doesn't matter which equation I substituted the 1 into. I could have used the left equation as well. I would get the same answer. All right, so let's just double check our delta math, make sure we did it right. And our 1 for x, negative 9 for y. So the point of intersection is 1, comma, negative 9. Let's take a look. And green check mark. 